Hi, welcome back to Box of Delights. Today I want to show you a game that we've been playing as a family and really enjoying. It's called the Dog's Life. And it's a board game, two to six, play 60 minutes. It says A plus on the box. You could probably play with younger ones as well. It's always great to show you some family games. These are games that you can play with your kids as a family. It's got some strategy in there. Uh, the rules are simple enough and a great catchy theme that younger children are going to enjoy. In this game, you actually get to play one of these fabulous six dogs brought to life with these lovely little painted miniatures. The aim of the game is to be the first dog to find and bury three bones. And to help you do that, you're going to be looking for food to keep you strong and healthy. You're going to be searching trash cans for food and bones. And one of the fun parts is you can even do a little pee on a lamppost to block the progress of other dogs around the neighbourhood. And this is all carried out on this wonderful, colourful board. And all the while, you've got the dog catcher, which is chasing you down and sending you back to the dog shelter here. The game's really easy to play, though the rule book doesn't make that immediately obvious. But you have two spots here in your mouth where you can carry things like bones. So although you've got to find and bury three bones, you've got room for two. And also placeholders here for the little piddle tokens that you can use to mark your territory and a hunger meter which if it ever falls to zero your dog's starving is going to fall asleep and get moved to the dog shelter losing all the things that you're carrying and this could not just be bones it could also be newspapers newspapers have numbers on the back this is number nine. And these newspapers, it's a clever little way of just giving players these short-term goals where you can go and hopefully seek out and find those bones. Let's run through a turn and learn about the mechanisms, which are, I could say, quite straightforward. You start the game with one token in your bladder. No bones, obviously. A newspaper. And a full four hunger. You're going to draw one of these cards which sets your den. So I'm playing Buddy the Labrador. My den is this golf course. And this says, this is where I'm going to start. This is where I need to bring back bones. At the start of your turn, you lose one hunger. So obviously we need to try and find some food to stay hungry. So we don't want to get sent to the dog shelter. We start with eight action points. So there's no roll and move here. You just got to know you've got eight points to spend. And moving uses those points. So let's say I want to move over here. That's one. Okay, so one, two, I can move all the way around. Okay, every space I move it is one. So I'm down to seven. There's a trash can here. So I could use one of my actions to search the trash. And when I do, I take one of these green tokens and say this bin is now emptied. And when you search the trash, or when you do any action really that involves potentially searching for stuff, you draw a card. Every dog has his own deck, every player has his own deck of cards. You draw a card and you search for the trash can. And it says in the trash can I found two pieces of meat, one, two. So I'd get to move my food marker up two spaces. Good work buddy. Okay, I've got six actions left. Let's move one, two. Got four actions left. Oh, there's a lamp post here. Everywhere you see a lamppost, you can take a piddle token and mark the lamppost. That's another action. You can get more piddle tokens by visiting these water fountains. So if you're here, you can take an action to drink at the water fountain and take another counter and place it on your, on your card here in the bladder. Okay. There's other locations, they're marked with red paws or green paws. Your home dens are all marked with yellow paws. These red ones, if I take another action and move in here, this is a restaurant and I can take an action here to beg at the restaurant. Again, I draw a card and this time I'm looking for the restaurant. Here we've got three food. So restaurants, trash cans, good places to find 
food. Now you'll remember the ultimate aim is to try and get bones. And to get bones, we need to deliver newspapers, like Buddy's carrying his mad, to these green spots here. So where do I get newspapers? We have to go to the newsstand. The newsstand is up here in the centre of town. If you're at one of these spots with a blue paw, you can take an action to grab a newspaper. You keep them face down, you grab one at random, you can have a little look. Sneaky look, it's number four. Place it in my mouth. And there's room for two here. I know number four is up here at this burger place. So if I can take actions to move over to here, take an action to deliver the newspaper, then again I can draw a card. And this time I've done a delivery and yes, I've got a bone. And once you've got your bone, it doesn't have to be one, you could perhaps do a couple of deliveries or maybe you'll find a bone in a restaurant. There's different places you can find them. You can travel home and use one of your eight action points to bury the bone. Okay. I can bury two here. As soon as you've got three, you're the winner. Now here's a catch. These pedal counters block the movement of other dogs. So if you're moving along and you encounter somebody else's pedal token where they've marked a lamppost, then you immediately stop and lose the rest of your actions. That's fine, you can carry on next turn. The other thing that you could happen is, if you're standing next to another dog, is you can fight it. Each dog draws a card, you turn them over, and you compare the number of fight pulls. If they're equal, nothing happens. If you lose the fight, like Buddy has here, then he immediately has to end his, his turn. That's it, no more action points to spend. If you win the fight, then you force the other dog to retreat and drop anything they're carrying. So this might be a newspaper or a bone, those precious bones. Finally on your turn, the last thing you do once you've spent all your actions is you roll the die. And this is for the dog catcher. You roll it. I've rolled a three here. So you move the dog catcher band three spaces. One, two, three. And the aim is to try and catch other players' dogs. Again, the court dog drops anything they're carrying, newspapers or bones, and they're immediately taken to the dog shelter. Life's tricky up here, but you don't get hungry. Instead, at the start of your turn, you turn over one of these cards and you're looking to see if you manage to escape. This poor dog is captured for another round. What you're looking for is an exit pound, and then you can carry on your way. Likewise, if the dog catcher finishes next to you, although you're not immediately caught, the dog's instinct is to hide. Turn over an action card and check the bottom left. If you're lucky, you escape. If you're unlucky, he catches you. That's it, that's a dog's life. Walk a mile in their paws and be a dog. <laughs> a great, fun little game for the family. Lots and lots of different things you can do, lots of actions to take. We really enjoyed it. We found the hardest part was keeping track of those eight points. Oh, how many did I spend? Four, five, oh, I can't remember. But hey, be relaxed about it. Have fun with your family and enjoy a board game in the life of a dog. <laughs>